we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Oh, shut we... up! I'm not missing my race. Oh, I'm gonna be here. I'm going to jail! <laughs> oh, crap. Listen, son. You think you're gonna play a stupid video game about cars and you're gonna become a race car driver? All I ever wanted to do is be a racer. I'm doing it. For you, how much of this story did you actually know? Or was there a particular element that surprised you as actually being true? I mean, the whole thing surprised me. I'd never heard the story before. Um, I, I had a bit of an unconventional approach into it, where I was sent this brief of untitled Jan Marden, uh, Jan Marden, Jan Mardenborough project. I've said the name so many times today that yeah. it's asked if you don't know what the word sounds like anymore. Um, and and so this was before the kind of umbrella term of like Gran Turismo was even attached to it. So my entry yeah. point was just Jan's story. I was sent a bunch of articles, a bunch of podcasts, and I met with Jason Hall just to talk about Jan. And I was blown away by the story. I, I couldn't believe it was real. I couldn't believe no one had told it before. And I yeah. couldn't believe that a huge studio like Sony were telling this young mixed race English guy's story on this huge scale like that. I was so excited about how inspiring that story could potentially be. And yeah. so when the opportunity arose and I got the chance to tell it, you know, I jumped at the chance. Yeah, definitely. And obviously you had Jan on set as your own, as his own stunt driver, almost like in a weird meta kind yeah. of casting. Um, how much did you talk to Jan to kind of inform your portrayal of him? Or did you try and make it your own in some ways and not too close to Jan himself? It was a marriage of both. We but we kind of decided, me and Neil, from from the offset, um, that I wasn't going to be doing an impression of Jan. Um, that it wasn't going to be, you know, an Elvis biopic. It, it was the spirit of the essence of Jan. But I also wanted to include as much of Jan's real life experience and and in there as possible. So from the very first time we met, we just he, I just asked to know everything. And then I could pick and choose what I wanted to include, but he was so open and honest and lovely about just being, just really trusting me and just telling me everything from, you know, the start of his life to, to where he was now. And, and having him on set as my stunt driver, it meant that we just continued to talk and we continued okay. to share things. And anytime I, I wanted to try and lay something new in, I could, I could pull him as, as this source immediately and, and I could say, oh, wait, what was that? What was that game that you said that you really loved there? Oh, I, could, I, can, I can mention that there. I can put that in the scene. Or what was your favorite car again? I can put that in the scene. Just any, yeah. any of those things. Or what was your relationship with this person? Did, did this really happen? All of those things I could pull from Jan to make it feel as true to his experience as possible, whilst also having some creative freedom to make him feel like a relatable character. Yeah, definitely. And the driving sequences in this, even though I saw an unfinished version, they're intense, like yep. they vibrate the seat. Um, and when I was talking to David yesterday, he said like in real life, being in there, he didn't want to do anymore because they were so intense and quite to go through. So how was it for you, those kind of driving experience where you were in the car and being driven around these crazy- I love that. Stuff? I love that David said that. He probably did it one or two times. I did it every <laughs> day for three months. Yeah. I was there. I was in the car every single day and it was, truly the most difficult experience I have ever been through. It, nothing can prepare you for just how physically taxing it is. It is mm. a true assault on the senses. Everything is being just punched. Your, your sense of smell, your, your, your vision, your, your kind of your balance, everything is just off. I mean, I've never been through something like it. I was, I was throwing up every day. I'd have to get out of the cars, lie on the ground, go back in, medicate, do the whole thing again. But having watched it, I think, you know, it is, Neil was so adamant that it was worth it because there's kind of no cheating, that feeling that you get the G-force on my face, the shake, the, what you were just describing. It's difficult to cheat that with green screen. He really yeah. wanted to know that we, we would feel it. So anytime I'm in the car, I'm there going at full racing speed. It's hot, it's claustrophobic, it's nauseous but it added to the world, it added to the, to the experience. And, and I think it was, it, it was all worth it.